Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha's Tazria, we learn about Tzara'as, a sickness that caused skin to turn different colors. Today we will do an experiment where we will get to watch water turn different colors. Here are the supplies that we will need. Three small bowls and one medium sized bowl, cabbage, a knife, parchment paper and foil, measuring spoons and beakers, popsicle sticks, baking soda, vinegar, and boiling water. Who's excited to begin? Let's do this. With the help of an adult, cut the cabbage into chunks until you have about two cups worth. Then place the chunks into a medium sized bowl. What can we learn from the idea of tsaras? Here's an interesting idea that may help us understand more. Hashem made us in a way that the emotions we feel or the spiritual state we are in are reflected in our bodies. For example, if you have an important school test, you might wake up with a fluttering feeling in your stomach. This feeling may come up whenever you feel nervous. With the help of an adult, boil four cups of water and pour directly over the cabbage. Be careful not to burn yourself. Cover the bowl with aluminum foil and let it sit for about 10 minutes, allowing the water to seep into the cabbage chunks. Or think of the warm, pleasant feeling that washes over you when your bubby or zadie offers you a compliment. These physical responses are our body's way of feeling and expressing the emotions we have. They are like signals from Hashem to help us understand the complex feelings that we have. Next, using a small cup or beaker, take the water out of the bowl and divide it into three small bowls. If you'd like, you can also drain all of the water into another bowl and then divide it from there into three bowls. So back to Tzara'as. This was a physical sickness that showed up on someone's body in the form of a white or pink patch but it wasn't caused by germs or cold weather. It came as a consequence of speaking Lashon Hara, speaking negatively about someone else. If these signs appeared, the person had to go to a Kohen to determine if it was indeed Sarah's. If it was confirmed that it was, the affected person would spend a certain amount of time alone outside the city until the condition went away. You may have already noticed the water turned purple. Purple is a fun color, so let's leave the first bowl as is without adding anything but we will turn the water in the other two bowls a different color. Put a popsicle stick into each of them, add two teaspoons of baking soda to the second bowl, mix it with a stick, and watch the water turn blue. While it may seem very long and difficult that a mitzora, which is someone with tzoras, had to spend time alone for a while, the Torah comes to teach an important lesson. It emphasizes the importance of making sure to speak with kindness and the need to think carefully before speaking. Lastly, measure one tablespoon of vinegar into the last bowl. Mix it with a popsicle stick and watch it turn pink. Here's the science behind this cool trick. The cabbage juice has a special ability to tell you how acidic the liquid is. Adding baking soda will turn the cabbage juice blue, causing it to become less acidic because it is a base, whereas adding vinegar will turn the cabbage juice reddish, causing it to become more acidic because it is an acid. In our times, people do not get saras. However, the Torah still chooses to tell us all about it, which means we can certainly take a lesson from it, a lesson about speaking kindly. Take a moment to think of one way you can help yourself remember to speak with care and kindness. In the meantime, we'll see you next week.